first thing that struck me was the uh, stillness of Manhattan. People just kind of walking around town, kind of in a daze. And in fact, the very first picture I took was of a, uh, six or seven people on a sidewalk watching, uh, watching the television, watching the news events of the day. And they were kind of bathed in this fluorescent light. And um, it was such a surreal moment. Ground Zero became the center for any number of memorial sites, flags, flowers, yellow ribbons. You could feel the sense that people came together, not just as Americans, but as a close-knit community in New York. In our line of work, where sometimes we're not always welcomed, people understood why we were there, especially at that point. One of the goals when I went down to New York was try to find a Syracuse connection. Since I was surrounded by New Yorkers, I decided that I would just grab a soft cap and scrawl the word Syracuse on top of it. I was approached by no less than 11 people that came up to me and told me their stories. They understood what I was doing. They understood the connection. On the ninth day that I was there was the memorial service that was held at Yankee Stadium. And people were very willing to talk to us, but you could feel the raw emotion. People's lives changed in an instant. There were so many people just trying to help with water bottles, fruit of any kind to help. It was sad, it was a sad, sad moment. The last day that I was in New York, I just happened to be leaving my hotel and um, I noticed there was a line of fire trucks and realized it was for a funeral for the chaplain of one of the fire departments. And I saw former President Clinton lining up for the procession. It was a really, really moving moment and uh, it's just one of those out of body experiences. I just can't explain it and I think it'll live with me for the rest of my life.